everybody, how you doing? I'm gonna cut right to the chase. I got a whole bunch of milk jugs, a Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum with some 400 grain bullets. We're gonna try to catch the bullet in all these milk jugs. After this video, don't forget to check out all of our other milk jug videos. We've caught a whole bunch of bullets and got a whole bunch of expanded bullets to check out. Let's see what happens with this Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum. You can see behind me, I've got 14 milk jugs. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be enough, but we're about to find out. I'm gonna double check and make sure all these babies are straight. And then we're gonna take a shot and see if we can catch it. Let's take a quick look at the gun and the ammo we're using here. Like I said, we're gonna be shooting this Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum. This particular one has a fiber optic front sight and a ported barrel. Very, very nice. And there are those 400 grain soft tip bullets. These particular ones that I picked up here are Magtech 400 grain bullets. Enough yapping, let's get to shooting. I'm gonna try to shoot perfectly straight so that we can catch these soft tips. These soft tips should expand and I think 14 milk jugs is gonna be enough to catch them, but let's take this shot and see what happens. I'm gonna go get all the cameras rolling and we're gonna catch this bullet. All right, here we go. The Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum, 400 grain bullet. I forgot to take a guess. We got 14 jugs lined up, 400 grain bullet, soft tip. That's a tough one, but this baby's up there getting close to the 4570 power, so I'm gonna say I think it gets caught in seven jugs. Assuming I can shoot straight seven jugs with these 400 grain soft tips, 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, let's go take a shot. I don't know if we caught the bullet, but let's check it out and see what happened. So, we got quite a few jugs on the ground here, you can see. When we go up to the table, this is the sixth jug. Oh, that's part of the, it's one of my food dyes in there. Sixth jug, it's in the bottom, so I'm kind of afraid that the bullet might have got lost in the bottom. Seventh jug, you can see it looks like the bottom kind of got torn out of that one. Is there a bullet in there? No, and then you can see behind that where the bullet jumped out and there's some lead there on the board. So let me make sure that there's no bullet in this one. And no, there's not. So we already know it went through seven jugs. We only have seven on the table. Let me go grab a whole bunch more jugs and we're gonna try this shot again. All right, here we go again with the 500 Magnum, 400 grain bullet. Let's see if we can shoot a little bit straighter and try to catch these soft points. I knew it was gonna be hard to catch these soft points, but I think if we shoot just on the same parallel of the center of these jugs, we can catch this bullet. Let's try it again. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I think we did better that time than the first time. I'm hoping we caught that bullet, but I know we at least sent a bullet through a lot more than just seven water jugs. Let's see what happened. Bunch of jugs on the ground. Some of those are from the first shot, so don't pay attention to that. This jug. Boom. There's still massive trauma, you can see, all going down the line. This one says, what's this one labeled? I don't even see a number on this one. But you can see we're still dead center after quite a few. Here's jug number seven. You can see even jug number seven has a hole dead center. So that's a good sign. Before I chuck this, let me make sure there's no bullet in here. Nope, no bullet in jug number seven. Jug number eight, we still got a 
bullet going dead center and we got a bullet hole coming out the back so that's a good sign i'm feeling really good that we caught this bullet jug number nine still got a bullet hole in the center does it have a hole in the back yes it does and it's still dead center so i'm starting to get excited here guys jug number 10 we're still going center bullet hole in the back of jug number 10 now i'm getting really excited if we didn't have enough jugs and it went out the back i'm gonna be extremely disappointed but it looks like we hit that back jug because the water levels down let's keep going jug number 11 jug number 11 still got a bullet hole in the front still got a bullet hole dead center oh boy going back to jug number 12 what we got going on we're still pouring water out the front and we got a bullet out the back i'm thinking i should have put some kind of big barrier behind this jug number 13 we got a hole in the front and we got a hole in the back now here's the real question here's jug number 14 and i'm hoping and a praying that this bullet is in here bullet hole in the front and there's a bullet hole in the back. But the question's gonna be, can we find that bullet? That jug was sitting right there. And I don't see a bullet mark. Do you guys? So that jug was sitting right there. Oh, that bullet level is pretty close to there, but I would have thought that it would have hit that. Just to make sure, let's check and make sure that that bullet isn't still in this last 14th jug here. I'm starting to lose hope, guys. Is the bullet in this last jug? And, no it isn't. Is the bullet anywhere here close? And I don't see it. All that work to catch this Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum and we didn't have enough water jugs. What do we find out here? It takes more than 14 water jugs to catch a 400 grain 500 Magnum. We're gonna have to try this test again. It's gonna take a whole lot more water jugs and I'm gonna have to go buy some more. But stay tuned, we're absolutely gonna film this again. We have to know how many jugs it takes to catch that 500 Magnum. But thanks for watching today's video. Big thanks to my buddy Jeff. Big thanks and shout out to Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors for all your support. Everybody go check out Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. Check out all our other videos. We'll see you on...